Hello, welcome back to another Geek Reviews. This time we are going to go through the cartoon collection Skeletor. And I've also eventually got my hands on the flocked Panthor. I love it where they put collector's edition on the box so they can charge an extra 20 quid just for that. <laughs> if we do go through the realistic fair type of Panthor... I picked this up, I think it was about um, 20, 23, I think. Massive reduction for what it was when it was originally released. I think it was like 40, 40 quid on re original release and I just wasn't prepared to pay that at that moment. Like I say, it came out in 2021 and it's now 24 and I've only just got my hands on it. So, art... On the box, you've got Teela there on that horse. Can't think of the name of the horse of what that is. So, you may be able to help me out on that. Drop a comment to you know what the uh, name of that horse was down below. You've got He-Man there with Battle Cat, Castle at the back, the Spirit of Grayskull as well. I missed out on that one with the Mattel creations that got snapped up. So, I did end up buying... Um, the other parts of the mysteries of Grey Skull, but I just didn't end up getting that ghost with it as well, or the spirit. You've got Screech there at the top. Round the back, you've got that glossy effect. So here we've got fiercely obedient to Skeletor Panther carries his nefarious master into combat. And then you've got Man at Arms there with He-Man and Battle Cat running down. And all the other figures that came out released back in 21. And the usual cross cells there. Round the side you've got Fisto and that, um, what do you call them? So half human, half horse type of people. Never seen that. So again, don't know his name on that one either. Round this side, just a couple of like cheeky lizards. So again, let's trade in. I got this from. So I think is it based in Spain? So it was a refurb. It says. I think that's why I got it so cheap. But let's crack this open and have a little closer look. Oh, now that's nice. Okay, so the articulation on this is the same as the original non-flocked panther. You've got the head bobble, the jaw moves up and down, the legs back and forth, little joint on the knee. I'm always gutted that he didn't put the joint on the actual paws of this. They are fixed. So even if you wanted a pose... Oh, let's just click that. You can tell this hasn't been turned. So, but even if you wanted to pose the paws, they just stick out. Although I quite like that feature there underneath. God, it feels fabulous, this. I just wish there was the, um, the ball joint on the paws so you could pose it a bit more. The tail does twist round. And then this seat, whatever you call it, is on that little clip. So let's just whip that off. Ooh, very nice. So the little carriage where he sits on, it's just the hard type of plastic. slide that back on just bring in the other panthor for some comparison for you as well so although you can see the the fair texture this just doesn't compare to the actual flocked the mouth like I say the jaw flips down 
I think the the flocked version does look a bit darker. But the eyes are still that beady yellow. Same articulation on both as well. But yeah, the uh, the flocked far more superior to this guy. Bringing in the cartoon collection version of Skeletor, the Evil Lord of Destruction. So it's got that blue type of pack and art with the castle at the back there. Flipping them round, the card art is where it's got a scene on the masks of power, um, which he does come with. So you've got them seen there glowing there, and then the two like little Egyptian type of guys, I suppose. So um, I reckon, with these obviously being swappable heads, it would be good. I might end up getting some of the Sun Men, more of the Sun Men, and maybe doing a bit of a custom with the swappable heads. That's what I'm thinking on anyway. Don't like Hypno or something like that. And um, because they're going pretty cheap now, and maybe doing a custom with these heads. But he comes with uh, includes another comic book. You've got the cross cells there, and obviously the collection, the first wave of the cartoon collection. So let's crack him out of his little plastic prison. Comes with the usual, like origins. What parts pop off? And there's comic. Oh, got a bit of cotton here. Is this going to fall to bits? Uh, wizards. A wizard. Vi wizards wizard. <laughs> oh. Look at that. So, because of that cotton hasn't stitched. Fallen to bits. So, who else? Oh. Oh! Accessory eyes. He does come with his power sword. His havoc staff, which is just fantastic. So I think um, it's like the smaller version of the Masterverse one, isn't it? With the because that was in the different colour than the staff itself. I mean, there's the original Havoc staff com in comparison. So it's a lighter purple on the staff itself. But the skull is just absolutely perfect. And then the two heads... So you've got this one, like a flat type of matted gold on there. And then you've got this one, it's a little bit taller. But the same type of colours as well. But Skeletor himself, I mean, I absolutely love this one. So he's a lot lighter blue, and the actual armour is more of a lilac rather than that deep purple that we've seen on all the other Skeletors. The armour actually clips off from the back, but I'll get to that, I'll take that off in a moment. So his head, articulation, bobbles, all the usual stuff we've seen on the Origins. His head will pop off he'll pop off at the waist and that's how you take that armour off, he's got that skirt thing going on as well but let's just pop them back on I 
I mean, I am the head sculpt on this one is just superb. It's even got the little tip of his hood going round as well. And when you tip his head down, it's got that seamless type of effect look on it. You've got the centre crossbones. And his proper boots, he hasn't got that webbed type of foot. He's just got the boot on as well. I mean, bringing in one of the first releases. So with his open jaw as well, which I always thought was a bit weird, having that open jaw. I think it's quite funky-like, but for the first release, a little bit weird. But his armour at the front... You can see this is a lot more, actually, well, this is quite hard type of plastic. This is quite flexible as well. But you can tell the different colours there, even the bones on the, on the cross there. They are a lot smaller than the original release and more of a plain detail on the waist type of stuff. I'm just loving the colour on this so he's got the gripper hands for his little havoc staff and then one for his power sword as well but let's have a little look at him with the the masks on let's go for this one first Bump. quite funky let's have a go with the origins one so even the original origins you can pop the head off there and they also do fit pretty good okay then guys that's my little review of the cartoon collection uh, Skeletor and also the Flock Panther. Let me know your thoughts. Drop us those comments. Do you feel as though the Flocked Panther is in more superior than the first release? But what do you think of the cartoon collection Skeletors as well? I'm actually starting to really like these ones now that I've seen them out the packet and got them in hand. Are you collecting them? What have you got so far? Drop us those comments, but do the usual while you're there. Do the like, subscribe, and tickle that little bell notification. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care.